ass motherfuckers, it's your friendly neighborhood Doberman slash kind of wolf slash fucking furry degenerate Gromit here and I'm back on the drum kit as usual and today I've got a special fucking video for you guys Now, this story starts when I was having a fat wank over some Yif comics and basically what happened was that I came up with this wicked idea to see if I can record a full fucking drum track with some of these bad boys, with the, the, the fucking these cheap ass gaming headphones that I use for fucking the GTA sessions and shit. Now, on paper, sounds like a fucking terrible idea that's gonna just destined to fail. But I think I'm, I'm a bit of a Brian Eno character myself, and I thought let's give it a fucking go. So I kind of just started this drum track with the idea that I was never gonna be able to. Just do a full drum track, like just one recording, because the microphone will probably just cut out and stop working. And also because obviously it'll be mono, and I like my drum tracks being stereo. So I thought of the idea of recording each part individually and then adding it all together. So I started with the hi hat, then moved on to a couple of cross sticks. So I wanted this track to kind of be in a style of steel coping. Uh, and then I moved on to the bass drum part and then I did all the little quirks and fiddles around and fucking some of the that you'll see in this song as well. Um, so yeah, let's go on to how each individual track sounded and then what I did to mix it together to make it the fullest that it can be. So for a, a, a fucking £15 gaming microphone Gaming headset, not just gaming microphone, gaming headset that you can get from, I think, Home Bargains, b and that kind of place, if you live in the UK. These actually do output quite good sound quality. Um, very much not the case in a gaming environment, because these cut out like FUCK in a live environment. But when I connected them to GarageBand, which is my editor of choice, I think it's most aspiring musicians' editor of choice these days, because... You know, it's free and you can pretty much do anything you can do on some big fuck-off uh, sound mixing program on fucking Windows 10 on it. Um, these actually are really good. I'd actually suggest these if you want to do some light singing, to be honest, because they, uh, what, what's the word I'm looking for? They kind of, they don't to tell all the fucking sound that's in the room. It's very much focused in the middle and what's pointed at it. So if you have this microphone pointed at your mouth, you will get the sounds that are coming from your mouth. You won't get a sound that's coming fucking 10 metres away. You're probably knocking on the go going... <laughs> Stop fucking singing! Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty fucking good quality, to be honest. So I started with the uh, cymbal, like I said, and let's have a look how that track sounded unmixed. Now we move on to the cross stick section, these are all going to just kind of be tiny experts because obviously these last a full 20 bars and I don't want to fucking drag this video out, I mean I know I, I could and get that ad revenue but I mean I'm, an, I'm a good boy and I don't like fucking making these videos with the main concepts to make money because I won't make any money because I have no fans but thank you for 400 subscribers by the way, I've got to say that um don't know what I'm gonna do for it. It's it's 400 subscribers. Uh, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave a milestone video out for this. But when we get onto 500 subscribers, I'll definitely be making a little Q and A or some fucking special video. Um, but it's been genuinely years since I fucking hit a milestone on YouTube. So I thank everyone from the bottom of my heart who's came on, liked one of my videos, and subscribed and shit. You know. You are like fucking family to me, basically. So I thank you for 400 subs, and let's move on to 500. Anyways, run to over. Let's get on to the uh, what are we on now? The fucking. So 
now let's move on to the, uh, just like the fucking thing that I did between the snare and the rack tom, just some fucking, some paradiddles and shit. Each track represented there in that last fucking couple of minutes. Um, so as you can see, it's, it sounds pretty shit, but don't underestimate the power of reverb. That's what I say to anyone who's getting into fucking mixing. Splash a bit of reverb on there. Not not a ridiculous amount of reverb, obviously, but you splash a bit of reverb on there. And it usually just makes it sound a lot clearer and a lot better. Especially, um, as well, I'd suggest for doing stuff on the snare, I'd always put the treble up. I, I'd never put the bass up. Fucking... Put the treble up, it sounds more crisp. But now let's have a listen to what that track sounded unmixed, then mixed, and then I'm gonna add some bass and guitar into it and some shitty vocals, and we'll get a loud fucking song out of it. this video this has been a lot of short upload i wanted to just make that kind of clickbaity fucking i i recorded a fucking song with these shitty headphones <laughs> um but yeah thanks for watching this video i'll be back with the police drum covers tomorrow probably i've got all of them fucking already edited and shit i just need to upload them fucking individually each day and tomorrow's actually whole of my life which is probably my favorite fucking police drum cover i've done out of all of them, that's all of Outlandos and out all of fucking Regatta de Blanc. So yeah, definitely check that one out. But thanks for watching this video guys, it's been great. And I'll fucking see you later.